Melted cheese. I know what you're thinking. If there's one thing the world needs, it's more. After all, can you name a single dish that wouldn't taste better covered in a layer of gooey, stringy hot cheese? Well, I'm here to tell you, you're wrong. The world doesn't need more melted cheese. What it needs is more delicious melted cheese. My name is Mark Schatzker, and there's only one thing I care about. Flavor. Where does it come from? What does it mean? And where can I get it? And where can't I get melted cheese? These days it's oozing out of toasted sandwiches, bursting out of pizza crusts, and smothering french fries. But maybe we're missing something here. Perhaps it'd be a good idea to take some advice from the world's foremost cheese experts. I'm not talking about the French or the Swiss. I'm talking about their cows. Because if you visit the cows that live in the Alps in France and Switzerland, you'll find there are all sorts of peculiar rules about what they can and can't eat. For example, you get the very best milk for making cheese in summer, when the cows are high up in the mountains eating alpine pasture. That milk is so good that cheese made from it sometimes gets its very own special name. What's the deal with all that grass? Why not just let the cows stay in the barn to eat corn or soybeans or heck, stale bread, which cows have been known to eat? Well, one difference is a chemical called nerol, which has a sweet rose scent. There's four times as much nerol in cheese made from cows who eat grass up in the mountains. Their cheese doesn't taste like roses, but it does taste more floral, complex, and, this is the important part, more delicious. And that's to say nothing of pinene, camphene, cymene, and all the dozens of other tasty flavors in the grass, flowers, and herbs that grow way up there in those beautiful mountains. How good is melted cheese from cows that eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner up in the Alpine? So good that it would be a crime to waste it on toasted sandwiches, pizza crusts, or french fries. No, in Switzerland, which is basically the Vatican of melted cheese worship, the locals eat cheese melted all on its own. They burble it in a pot, which is called fondue, but their greatest work of genius is just a straight up plate of melted perfection called raclette. Grass never tasted so good.